Donald Trump's hush money criminal trial is starting soon. It's the first of four criminal cases against Trump to go to trial. Here's a look at some of the key figures in the case. Donald Trump is the former president of the United States and the presumptive Republican presidential nominee. The case involves allegations that he falsified business records at his company to hide the true nature of payments to his former lawyer, Michael Cohen. Trump has pleaded not guilty. Cohen was involved in efforts to cover up damaging stories about Trump during the 2016 presidential campaign. Cohen was once a fierce Trump ally, but now he's a key prosecution witness against his old boss. Other witnesses we could hear from include Stormy Daniels, the porn actor that received a $130,000 payment from Cohen as part of the cover-up scheme. Other potential witnesses include Karen McDougal, a former Playboy model who received $150,000 for the rights to her story from the publisher of the National Enquirer supermarket tabloid. Trump denies having sex with either woman. David Pecker, the National Enquirer's longtime publisher and a good friend of Donald Trump, could also be called to testify. Hope Hicks, Trump's former White House communications director, is also expected to be on the witness stand. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg is leading the prosecution. His courtroom team is led by Matthew Colangelo, a former high-ranking Justice Department official who previously worked on Trump-related cases at the New York State Attorney General's office. Trump's defense team is led by Todd Blanche and Susan Necklace. Blanche is a former federal prosecutor who represented Trump's former campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, in a case in Manhattan. And Susan Necklace is a former Brooklyn prosecutor. She represented the Trump Organization at its unrelated tax fraud trial in 2022. The judge presiding over the case is Juan Mershon. Mershon presided over that Trump Organization tax trial and is also handling a case against Trump ally Steve Bannon. That case is supposed to go to trial later this summer.